Hi, so my name's Erin. I'm the Senior Media Executive at SBC. Um, so I'm here with Florian Diedrichsen from OpenBet. So Florian, would you like to give a brief introduction to yourself? Hi, Erin. Thanks for having me on. I have been in the sports content industry for uh, more than 30 years now and uh, joined OpenBet in January. And it's a very exciting role. Um, very happy to be here. Um, OpenBet is uh, the premium sports software uh, provider uh, for the last 25 years in the betting space. Um, and um, that obviously comes with a lot of legacy, um, but uh, so there's lots of opportunities. I think uh, the sports betting space is maybe 25% uh, through digital transformation. And I'm really looking forward to um, drive the agenda forward and do exciting things uh, with OpenBet and my exceedingly large team there. Congratulations on your new role as well as you say you joined back in January. Um, what was it initially that attracted you to open bet? To be completely honest, after spending got 16 years more or less uh, in different roles with Opta, Perform and uh, then the Zone, I was a bit fed up with sports. So um, I said, OK, I uh, want to do something different and spend weekends without having to look at the screen. But um, then Jordan came along with um, our CEO at uh, OpenBet and said, Okay, Florian, there's this exciting opportunity here. Um, we think we can um, really change the space and um, be uh, do groundbreaking new stuff and be disruptive and couldn't say no. <laughs> so can you mentioned about being, you know, groundbreaking and disruptive, you know, what are your key aims for this new role? So first and foremost, uh, take the good bits of uh, what we have been doing for the last 25 years, which is essentially being the, the turn to software if you need something scalable and reliable and taking that into uh, the cloud world more than what we are doing right now. But then starting uh, to change sports betting from being just a betting proposition to something which is more entertainment. Uh, you might have read what Flutter is saying. They want to be a sports entertainment company and not a betting company and I think this is where it's going. The digital space um, nowadays creates um, wants and needs which are very different from um, going into the high street shop and filling out a bet slip. This is more about a, uh, overarching 360 degree um, fan engagement perspective, uh, which also includes betting and uh, we as the, the prime provider of betting software have to cater to that. You mentioned that you've been in the industry for was it 16 years now. How will your previous experiences help open bets kind of revolutionize the future of sports betting entertainment? Yeah, actually a bit longer than that even. Um, 16 years only at, at sort of the last two companies. Um, I'm resolved opt to perform and I um, went along with it. Um, and I have, I mean, a lot more time in, in sports data and um, sports video production. Yeah, I think that, um, yeah, my, my deep knowledge about um, how sports data is collected and being used across um, the different areas uh, of application um, can be very valuable on how you can evolve betting in the future. Um, of course, this is what it is about um, uh, pulling fans into the experience informing them about what's going on and then enabling them to make educated bets. What do you envisage as being the key technical challenges that you might face in your role? And then kind of from a wider perspective then, you know, drawing upon your previous experiences, how do you plan to overcome these hurdles? Very good question, Erin. Um, one of uh, the biggest changes in the industry has been in play um, over the last 10 years, and that is resulting in a plethora of additional markets. Um, we are looking at around 50,000 markets being traded in parallel at the moment. And that is without even talking about further personalization, which is going to happen. And I think that is one of the big changes which, um, and challenges which we need to overcome to allow our customers, the bookmakers, uh, to trade uh, with their customers directly in a personalized manner. And that is something which we want to do over uh, the next year or so. Um, this is obviously on top of the um, more generic uh, challenges that you have. Every market we go into um, has a plethora of regulatory requirements uh, which we have to meet and uh, the only idiosyncrasies uh, which we need to work towards. So it's a very interesting space, lots happening there. We're only three months into the year so far, but you know, if you take your like, kind of metaphorical crystal ball, can you give us a sneak peek into some of the concepts that you have in the pipeline for the rest of the year? Rest of the year for me is mostly um, around uh, sort of aligning uh, the team uh, around the challenges which are going to come up. But we are going to work on a lot of exciting releases in, in the US. Um, there's a lot of happening in Latin America. You might have seen the releases around uh, what's happening in Brazil. So a lot of what we are doing right now is, is customer focused. 
but um, towards the end of the year, I think we are going to uh, do way more around trading, as I said before, um, and personalized odds. You mentioned a few kind of different markets. Can you tell us a little bit about your plans for those? And, you know, how do you plan to address the challenges that maybe new, new markets present? So I mentioned uh, Brazil uh, earlier. Uh, that is a very interesting one for us to grow into, a um, new market which we need to address uh, with local teams and uh, local development capacity. And that end, I just want to mention uh, my uh, team of around a thousand developers again. Uh, we are in plenty of locations um, around the markets which we cover in uh, Europe. We are in, in UK, Greece um, and uh, in the Americas. Uh, Brazil obviously be included in that, also in India. And um, I mean, we are hiring. So if you're interested in joining us, um, uh, please do so. Um, one shout out goes uh, specifically to Ukraine. Um, we are there as well and obviously with all um, the trials and tribulations which are happening at the moment, that's a um, uh, location close to our heart. You mentioned the situation in Ukraine was obviously very heartbreaking, but obviously quite a difficult time at the minute. So for open, but what is the status there? So yeah, this is obviously very problematic and um, I mean, I don't want to go into this war because this is not a political interview, but a few of um, our developers um, have either volunteered um, or been drafted into the military and um, our hearts go out to them and I hope they, they uh, come home safe and um, also that all the uh, employees and families uh, are continuing to uh, be safe there. That being said, we think Ukraine is a great place for us. Um, we continue hiring. Um, we want to support the local economy and the local people. Um, and we are supporting our employees in um, relocating if necessary and um, through these difficult times, uh, both with money and uh, direct support um, when necessary.